We get a long list of details of what to expect for the Samsung Galaxy S8. An HTC executive puts all the company's smartwatch plans to perspective, and TCL begins to tease that the BlackBerry that we liked at CES is coming soon. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, call me nostalgic, but I'm actually happy that BlackBerry is making that type of a comeback. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today finally begin again with deals. If you are in the market for the Galaxy S7 or Galaxy S7 Edge, obviously we know that the S8 is coming, but this is the time to buy if you want to go cheap. Right now at Best Buy, you can get either of these phones with a 32 inch Samsung Smart TV. I would not even wait. The Galaxy S7 is probably one of our favorite phones of the year, so yeah, go for it. Now let's move the spotlight over to Google. The company has uh, just teased its Google I.O. event with a crossword puzzle. That's actually not a crossword puzzle, but it was an anagram or a wordogram or you tell me whatever that thing is in the comments down below. And a couple of developers actually solved that we should expect Google I.O. on May 17. So that is when the next version of Android is coming, even if the current smartphones are barely running it. And how about that? If we talked about HTC and all the rumors of the company's future Android smartwatch, it turns out that the company has uh, just confirmed that it's actually going to wait it out. We do know that Android Wear is not performing great, and even the Apple Watch is not performing on a rise. So it makes all the sense in the world for HTC not to do its own Android Wear smartwatch, though we do know that it could be that we might get the Under Armour watch. We will keep you posted as soon as we learn more. And for those of you diehard BlackBerry fans, all five of you, I am number six, by the way. Set your calendars for February 26 as TCL has just confirmed that we should expect the company's next BlackBerry to be announced. Now, bear in mind that the company confirmed that it's not going to be called the BlackBerry Mercury, or at least that was not the plan. But if they end up calling it the Mercury, I would be okay with that. Leave us a comment, whatever name you would like, and we would probably share the word. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8 as uh, we've got very interesting information on what to expect. Number one, it seems that there is no flat variant. We've got two sizes ranging from five to six inches and uh, apparently both will be a curved infinity display. No bezels or very limited ones. The uh, fingerprint scanner is actually going to be at the back. And in addition to that, we've got some monstrous specifications, probably Snapdragon 835 in addition to whatever gigs of RAM. Those weren't mentioned, but 64 gigs of expandable storage as well. And if this phone is actually anything close to what we saw in the leaks, that thing is going to be gorgeous. But it leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that this is what Samsung needs to bring to the market? This fully functional curved smartphone that's actually going to defy those of us that don't like curved displays. In my case, let's go for it. Hopefully they figured out uh, finger palm rejection or whatever. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on parkingnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.